Hi everyone, my name's Richard Howie, and today I'm going to show you a setup of a Allen and Heath's IP8 controller, which is a motorized fader controller, um, and how I've set it up to give access to uh, many of the functions of the Live Digital Mixer. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so you can see here in the background we've got Director software um, set up, and um, I've got it on a layer that shows. Uh, a bunch of um, auxiliaries or some inputs some auxiliaries some groups um, some effects there and some some matrix outputs um, so we're going to start with with the, with the IP8 controller here and I'll show you basically probably the starting thing where most people would would use an IP8 controller maybe to, to access um, mixes for uh, their auxiliaries for example so you can select your different ex um, auxiliary mixes here um, you can select the actual processing on them as well um, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is that I've programmed this button here to toggle between selects and mutes which we're currently on if you push it again you now sorry it was on selects and mixes and toggle it the other way and then you get access to mutes and PAFLs okay so that's the first thing that's happening is that this button is toggled between toggles between two states of mute PAFL and select and mix now that applies to every layer that that you set on on here so um, in this situation I've got on my second layer I've got a bunch of eight groups in here so the same thing again we can select groups we can sorry we can select them we can select the mix for the group we can change again to push this button which toggles to mutes and PAFLs um, so that's uh, the same for any layer so the third layer here I've got some effects sends and returns and then effects 5 to 8 returns as well and then on the bottom layer we've got our matrix main outputs I've got four mono matrixes here and four stereo here exactly the same functionality we can toggle between the modes of what these top buttons do uh, on my last layer here I've just got some some DCAs and my access to my main mixes down the end here um, so if we go back to layer one so let's explain first of all how this is all how this is working essentially what's happening when I'm pushing these 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 switches which are changing the modes of the the above is the um, uh, let me just jump to here it's basically changing scenes in the background so you can see here we've got um, some scenes and when I'm um, when I'm toggling the the the, uh, the the round button on the end of the screen it's basically recalling some scenes in the background and I'll show you some more of that in a minute so that's the same no matter which layer you're on you change layers this is just going to keep changing scenes in the background let me just jump back here to show you the thing again but where it gets interesting is this next thing and that is um, this layer one button has some special functions as does this when you are on layer one you can see that we've got access currently to our auxiliaries but if we push this layer button one button again it actually toggles all of the the whole IP8 setup now to 40 input channels which I can show you so here's all the input channels okay and we can toggle as you can see between the two modes of masters which is our groups effects and auxiliaries and push it again we get to our 40 input channels and DCAs at the end here there's another functionality and this is where it gets really cool and that is the ability to do sends on faders which most people think the IP8 can't do and when we're on this layer one the round button here has three functions when we're on channels I should say on layer one first is obviously as I talked about before to go from selects and mixes okay uh, push it again and we get mutes and PAFLs that we can get access to but the third time we push this button on layer one on channels we jump to sends on faders this is the the magic part and um, you can see that the displays have now changed and they also seen in, in the displays instead of mute PFL and effectively these top the top row of buttons here now is sends on faders for eight auxiliaries six seven and eight and the bottom row of buttons is doing eight effect sends so it's fixing one fixing two fixing three fixing four 
five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, again, this is for every layer, so we can get to um, anywhere. So if we, for example, jump down here, we've got a lead vocal down here, and we want to uh, change its level on auxiliary three. Uh, we want to put a little bit of this um, second vocal here into auxiliary three auxiliary one or we can jump to the effects it might be effect number four we want to add to the drum vocal you know so we've got access to eight auxiliaries eight effects scenes for the entire layer across here and then of course to jump out of scenes on faders mode simply push the round button again and we are back to our main fader mix levels again um, so it's um, pretty incredible that we can get this amount of functionality out of it and the only way we can do it as I talked about is by using all these scenes in the background so um, let's just scroll up here and we can sort of show you what I'm talking about so I had to program lots and lots of scenes there's a scene for basically um, all of the scenes the auxiliaries and the effects in here and each one of those basically changes the complete layout of the of the IP8 um, now of course if the the scenes that these are recalling are handled automatically um, and you can still use your normal scene cue list um, independent of all this. I've also um, set up uh, soft keys as well to um, do scenes on faders so you'll see here that if I hit for example one I can get through the uh, scenes on faders on the controller by using surface, um, surface keys as well. So the first eight keys are um, auxiliaries 1 to 8 and then I've got uh, 11 to 11 through to 18 is doing my effect scenes um, and I've also got a special one on 10 which actually just goes back to the main mix because which is required because unfortunately toggling this off doesn't return the IP8 and I've got no I've not been able to work out a way to get that to work so the easiest way was to just program um, a main mix soft gear here which returns the IP8 back to its um, main mix state but um, yeah so we can do it either way we can either select uh, from a surface using the soft keys here or we can select directly on the device itself and of course at any point you can also clear sends on faders by pushing the round button again so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, I am going to be sharing this um, online and the show file with it so that you don't have to spend all the hours and hours that I spent uh, programming this. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Cheers.